Hello, this is Emma of Emma Live Yoga and welcome to day nine of our 30 day challenge. So well done for getting this far. So we're going to continue our yoga to breathe and feel better, create some space in the body. So we'll begin from here, bringing the hands to Anjali Mudra. So come into Sukhasana or an easy, comfortable seated position. Allow the eyes to close as you begin to tune in to the breath and the heart space. And gently bowing the head in a gesture of surrender. And as you begin to tap in to the sensations of the body and the flow of the breath, you may wish to set an intention for your practice. Yeah, as you begin to lengthen the breath. And inhale, take a deeper breath. Exhale as you blink the eyes open. Uh, release the hands. And now just take the legs to a wide angle position. We'll probably stick on us in the legs. If you need to sit on something, please do. Active toes as we have a wriggle, make sure you're equally on the sitting bones, lengthen the spine. And then bring the hands forward at shoulder height, gently interweave the fingers. Inhale, lift the heart space. Exhale, begin to hinge forward and then drift to your left side as we begin to circle. Inhaling to circle back. Exhaling to circle forwards. And continuing like this, so warming up. Nice and gently, no forcing, just saying hello to the hamstrings, hello to the hips, hello to the lower back, the shoulders. Breathing, just feeling those sensations. We're going to pause next, so we inhale as we rock back. Exhale, change direction, over left foot, right foot. Might begin to go a bit deeper, just see, drop those shoulders down, inhale. Exhale, feeling and breathing, see what's going on. Keep a squeeze of the pelvic floor, two more circles. One more circle. And inhale as you come to center. Exhale, drop the shoulders. Inhale, reverse the position of the palms as you lift the hands up. Exhale, squeeze the belly in and just sway to the right side, lateral extension. Inhale as you come to center. Exhale, sway to the left side, stay grounded through the sitting bones. Inhale as you lift to center. Last one to each side, exhale, sway. Drawing the belly in, you might feel a little shake going on, that's okay. Exhale, sway to the left side. Inhale to center. On the exhale, release the hands and circle down through flamenco wrists. Open the palms, just give the shoulders a little shimmy. And inhale, lift the shoulders up around the ears. Exhale to roll back. Keep the head still, gaze in Ajna Chakra. Inhale to lift and exhale. Good, from here, just gently draw the knees towards each other. Bring the soles of the feet together for Baddha Kanasana. From here, sit nice and tall and just begin to butterfly wing the knees. Heart space lifting and just feel this little groin release. Good. And then from here, slide the hands back and draw the knees towards each other. With the fingers and thumbs facing forward, so you can lift the chest. Inhale. And on the exhale, as the knees glide to the left, just gliding the head to the right side. Little seated twist. Inhale as we come to center. Exhale, knees to the right, head glides to the left. And again, inhaling to center. Exhale. Inhaling to center. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center. On the exhale, as you press into the hands, you can either slide back or maybe lift the sitting bones back. 
lift, 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 and then sitting yourself down there. From here, cross the ankles, and then come through to an all fours position. Planting the hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips, inhale. Exhale, just have a little wiggle, a little sway from side to side. Easing into the hips, nice and easy. Breath is moving, feeling space emerging. And from here, planting that left hand down. On the inhale, square the back foot to the back of the mat. And on the exhale, bring the right hand to rest on the hip. Make sure your joints are stacked, all the bones are stacked. Feel the breath as we come to modified Vasisthasana. From here on the inhale, if you're steady enough, you might float the right arm up into space. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, circle the arm back and down. Inhale to swoosh forward and up. Exhale to circle back and down. And again, inhale to swoosh. Exhale. Do one more. Inhale to lift. And exhale. Now from here, squeeze the pelvic floor. And on the inhale, see if you can lift towards the upright. Change the position of the back foot so that the heel of the right foot is directly behind. Exhale as you bring the hands to the hips. So we're setting up for Parigasana. So you can change the position of the feet. You can either uh, square the foot or have the toes pointing out, whatever feels best on your knee. Inhale. And on the exhale, begin to slide the left hand down the leg until you feel a side stretch. This is option one, breathe in. Roll that right shoulder open. You may wish on the inhale to float the right arm up into space. Exhale. Keeping the shoulders relaxed, you might begin to lift up and over. Breathe in, you might give a little wave, hello. Feel the side body opening. And then inhale as you come back up. Exhale, guide that left leg in. And then coming down to an all fours position once again. Inhale, exhale, and again just have a little sway from side to side. So then we change sides, so planting the right hand on the inhale, step the left leg back, square the foot to the back of the mat, inhale, exhale, lifting as you bring the left hand to the hip, stabilize using those bandhas, again check that your bones are all stacked, nice and easy, breathing, if you wish on the inhale, float the left arm up into space, exhale, relax the shoulders, inhale, Exhale, circle the arm back and down. Inhale to swoosh forward and up. Exhaling back and down. Inhaling to swoosh and lift. Exhaling, we'll go one more circle. Inhale, now we use this arm. On the exhale to lift us up, bring the hands to the hips, adjust that left leg so the heel goes behind the knee. Arriving in Parigasana. Toes parallel or toes pointing out your choice. Inhale, exhale, slide the left hand down the leg, above or below the knee. Roll the right shoulder open, find the breath. How does it feel? How can we feel resistance? Using that tool of the breath and then find relaxation. So then inhale, float the right arm up into space if you wish. Exhale, again, you may begin to lift up and over, a little wavy behind. Keeping the wrist relaxed, feeling that side body opening. And then inhale, squeeze Mula Banda to come all the way up. Exhale, walk that right foot back in, high kneeling position, and bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. So gently connect with the breath. Reconnect with your intention. So then from here, tuck the toes under, inhale, sit back on the heels, exhale, feel that jolt of energy up the backs of the toes. If it's too much, then just release the toes, no problem. Comfortable discomfort breathing. So then a little challenge, lift the pelvic floor and see if you can maybe rock up so that you're balancing on the balls of the feet. It might be you need to bring a brick underneath the heels to stabilize, which is fine. It makes this posture nice and accessible. 
or if you want to work on your balance, keep the heels lifted. From here, inhale, squeeze those knees together. And on the exhale, hook the right elbow over the left knee. Now, I know the knees will want to slide, so squeeze them together as we begin to twist into Pashana modification. Draw the shoulders back, lift the chest, and try and lift the chest towards the thumbs. That's it. Breathe in. Feel that lovely twist emerge. Keep in your six limb focus, concentration on your balance if you're working on that. And then inhale as you come back to center. Exhale, we change sides. Inhale, hook the left elbow over the right knee. Squeeze those knees together. Don't let them slide. Exhale, roll the right shoulder open. And inhale, lift the heart towards the thumbs. Squeezing and feeling. Nice, huge eye breath. And then inhaling as you come to center. On the exhale, another challenge, you might be able to take the hands forward, begin to sit all the way back. If that's too much, then just sit back. However, releasing the legs and then scooching forward as we come to Dandasana. So we'll set up for Paschimottanasana from here, forward bend. So on the inhale, lift the chest, take the fingertips forward. Exhale, just keep a nice long spine. Find the breath. Allow your drishti, your gaze to rest on the big toes. See where you can relax. So maybe you can ungrip the kneecaps, the quad muscles. And maybe instead you can lengthen the breath down the spine. You can keep the jawline relaxed and you can work with the discipline of doing less. So just keeping the back really long. Good, and then inhale, lengthen once again. On the exhale, now you can begin to hinge forward and maybe round a little into this forward bend. You might open the palms. You might really begin to lengthen and roll down, releasing through the head. So just feel relaxation through the back muscles. Don't worry if you can't get particularly low, it doesn't matter. Just feel a nice softening and that's fine. Meet your body where it is, all is well. Feeling the patience of the practice encourages you to develop. Then inhale as you come all the way up and exhale. Scooching down your mat, come down to semi supine position as you open the palms of the hands. Feel the body begin to spread into the floor as you arrive here, shoulders releasing. Sacrum heavy, breath moving. From this position, inhale, draw the right knee into the belly, take hold of the shin. Exhale as you slide the left leg all the way out, feeling a relaxation through the left hip flexor. From here on the inhale, you can float the right ankle up towards the ceiling or sky. The leg may be bent, that's all right. Just take hold of the back of the thigh or calf or ankle or wherever you can feel a stretch is good. Squeeze in the pelvic floor. Another option on the exhale is to lift head and shoulders up in the direction of the leg, bringing the leg towards you, pointing the toes of the left foot. And inhale as you lower back down. Exhale, bend in the right knee. Inhale, bending in the left knee as we change sides. Exhale, slide in the right leg out as we come to Ekka Pada Apanasana. Getting a release through the right hip flexor. Then on the inhale, floating the left ankle up to ceiling or sky. Exhale, allowing the leg to be where it is, no strain. Keep the breath moving. Stay focused on what's important. Again, this stretch can emerge wherever feels best in your body. Final option on the exhale. Draw in Uddiyana Bandha and lift head and shoulders towards the leg. Gather the leg towards the head and shoulders, breathing and feeling, pointing the toes of the right leg. And inhale to lower back down. 
On the exhale, bend the left knee, bring the right knee to meet it, and have a little rock there in Apanasana. Easing out the lower back, shoulders relaxing. All is well. Bring that gentle warmth through the body from the practice. And then inhale as you bring the feet to the floor. Exhale, open the palms. From here on the inhale, you can bring the soles of the feet together. Exhale, drop the knees out wide for Sukta Varakanasana. That doesn't feel right, and stay in semi supine position. Bring the left hand to rest on the belly, right hand to rest on the heart space. Take an inhale to the top hand. Connect with your intention. Exhale to harder the seat to personal power in the belly. You rest here, think of three things that you're grateful for in this moment. Three words of positive seeds, positive appreciation. Feeling how this helps to reset any negativity. And we shift from absorption to gratitude. Then from here, releasing the hands, inhale. Exhale, gather the knees back in towards. Again, if you get the message to squeeze the knees in, have a little self a squeeze. And then from here, coming into rest position of choice. So you may come to Shavasana, whatever suits. If you're in Shavasana, open palms, relax the ankles, take a big inhale. Big exhale to let go. Feel the body and mind settling into stillness. This is called Narojaha. And just resting here, absorbing and being. If you wish to stay here longer, just press pause. Otherwise, become aware of the breath and begin to deepen the breath. And sending the breath down into fingers and toes, bringing some gentle movements here. And then moving the head slowly from side to side, easing out the back of the neck. And then you're ready to, on the next inhale, reaching the arms up and back for a full body stretch. Big exhale to let go. Then gathering the knees into the belly, and having a rock from side to side until you can roll over to one side and drop the bones heavy into the floor. Pausing here. The inhale, stretching out the top leg, pressing the top hand down. Exhale as you carefully leave yourself up to comfortable seated. So as you arrive, you can sit nice and tall, lengthening the spine, lifting the heart space. So I'm bringing the hands to Anjali Mudra as we give thanks for our health and our practice. Inhale to lift the prayer hands up, exhaling, 
to the sides. Inhale to look up and exhale. Namaste. So well done everybody during this short but I hope effective practice. I hope to see you for the rest of the days of this challenge. Take care.